Hello everyone, I'm Marina and it's a Cornell School. Today we'll take a look at top 5 budget-friendly products for a nail technician. Let's get right into it! I've been planning this for a while, testing out various materials and products, and now I can say for sure that these are my personal favorites. All of these budget-friendly products are under $10, and trust me, all of these are top quality for their price. I'm going to start with this product, and it is a new shimmery Acrygel by the brand Cosmoprofi. I love glittery stuff, and these new products are no exception. I did my own manicure using them last time, actually. 15 milliliters of this Acrygel cost about $10. I used this shimmery pink shade for my nails, Though one needs to get used to this shimmer because it looks a bit reflective on the nails. Number 3. This shade is neutral. It may seem dark brown in the jar, but it looks amazing on the nails. Number 4 is my personal fave. This Acrygel is milky white with golden shimmer. And all this glitter makes it super thick so one can use it to build up missing corners, patch up cracks, and so on. These Acrygels are fine-grained, and they get spread nicely. They also last perfectly, so now I'm a huge fan. That is the product that I'm going to use regularly from now on. Here's a closer look at the shades and their consistencies. This pink one is the most liquid. I love this silver shimmer. I'm using some aligning liquid. One can also use a stick soaked in liquid. The greens are super fine. Shimmery milk shades are trending currently, as you know. As well as colored camouflage base coat. But here, one gets color and shape at once. Now I send it to cure for 30 seconds. The next one is this peachy shade. It is shimmery and liquid, just like the previous one. It aligns pretty fast on its own. The main drawback here is that it may stick to the brush. But if one uses a long white brush and some aligning liquid, that will help a lot. That's why a technique matters. If one presses too hard, the brush may get stuck. Using too much liquid is bad too. It will make the material more liquid, and it will flow and pull around the nail perimeter, which in turn will result in peeling. This shade looks orange in the jar, but on the plastic tip, it looks natural and soft. Next up is number 3, with some fine glitter. This one is a little bit thicker, which makes it perfect for beginners. And for those who work slowly, since this Acrygel won't flow. And the thickest milky one. It feels a little bit like sugar. Feels similar. One can mix their own Acrygel if needed, actually. By mixing clear and white Acrygels or a clear base coat or some gel. And of course glitter. It is super convenient though when the mixture is made for us. Besides, it minimizes bubbles in the gel. And those often appear during the layout and mess up with one's work. It's a bit difficult to align. Let's add some more. Make sure to blend it out well until it's smooth. And now, let me show you how to build up the nail with it. I pull it down like this and slightly extend the free edge or the corners. It keeps the shape and doesn't flow at all. By the way, stay tuned for a video featuring this Acrygel. It makes a great combination with a milky base coat. Here are all the swatches. I love these shades, and if you do too, give this video a big thumbs up. I will definitely use this product again. 
because these shimmery agri gels are on point. This next product is for nail art and it is a brush by Eva Nails. I've got a bunch of these here. What I like about this brush is its long hair. That is perfect for painting French and fine lines. The brush handle is grained, which makes it super ergonomic. It is not my first brush by this brand. The previous one sadly got damaged when it got into the UV lamp. Now let's clean it up and see what it can do. I grab this gel tip, it is non-tacky, and paint a few fine lines. A lot depends on the angle and pressure. Look how thin the line is. If I press harder, it gets wider. I use this brush not only for nail art. I also use it to align nails and paint a cuticle zone as well. So I can highly recommend it to you. The next product that shook me is this color gel polish by Runeal. These cost only about three to five dollars. I've got a few shades here, but I love their density. To be honest, I did not expect a perfect application from this budget-friendly material. In one of my previous videos, I did a review of streaky pastel shades, and this lighter polish turned out to be one of the thickest. At first, I thought that it will leave streaks, as most of the pastels do, but these colors I've got are amazing. This shade is 6263. I'm using a clear tip so you could see it better. It aligns perfectly. Three moves and it's so smooth. I have not aligned it yet, so it's just one layer. Most of the pastel pink shades are naughty, but this one is super smooth. It reminds me of warm butter. That's how nice it is to spread. And that is a second layer. Here are some more shades. A blue one. It's also pastel. Pinkish purple. And one more pink shade. It takes one layer to be applied. So it's great that there are such cheap and dense gel polishes that even a beginner nail tech can easily afford. The next product that I buy right after it runs out is this acid-free primer by the brand Neon Nail. This material is top quality. It provides perfect bonding between a natural nail and a coating. This 10 milliliter bottle costs around $6. It comes with a brush and it's super economical. It provides perfect bonding, so I can highly recommend it to you. Another product that became my favorite is another one by Runeil. And it is this liquid gel with a brush. Colored base coats are trending now, as well as colored gels. And it's so convenient that they come with brushes so no extra brushes needed. Nail techs are used to such brushes. These are great for painting a cuticle zone. One can align nails with both strengthening and coloring. Now let me demonstrate these on tips. These gels are thick. If you need a more liquid one, just put it into hot water before using it. The material will get more liquid and easier to work with. I apply a thin layer and align it just like we do with the regular base coat. And the main plus of this gel is that it's hard. It's not a plastic base coat that may sag with time. Such strengthening will be perfect for short nail plates. For those clients who can't grow long natural ones. This coating will strengthen them. Now I turn it over to a line using the same brush. I form a longitudinal curve. You know what's the problem with regular colored base coats? They may not get cured well and sag with time, yes, 
And most importantly, they are hard to remove. They are so rubbery that it's next to impossible to take them off. These hard gels won't cause any of these problems. Here's a sky blue one. And the last but not least cool budget-friendly product that I could not keep from you. So it's an honorable mention to our top 5. And it is this dry nail oil by Domix. Its main advantage is that after the application, it evaporates super fast, so one can see it. But the cuticle is moistened and plump. And looking picture perfect. Look, it's super watery. It comes with a dropper for a contact-free application. Just squeeze it on the nails. Look, a couple of drops here. Now wait for a few seconds and there is no oil left. This nail oil will be perfect for finishing up a male manicure. Cause men are really sensitive and intolerable to that tacky and greasy feeling. That's it for the review. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And let me know in the comments below which budget-friendly products you use, some that you can recommend. I'm sure this information will be helpful for me and other subscribers. Make sure to check out more reviews on my channel. I wish you all success in your work. Good luck! Bye-bye!